Hey guys, so I'm literally just going to do this video on the spot because I haven't done a video in a really long time. I thought I would tell you guys more a bit um, about H. pylori because the amount of questions I've got is kind of ridiculous. I have gotten so many questions but a lot of them are actually, like the answers to them are actually in my videos. Um, I don't know if you guys know, but I have a whole series about H. pylori and a lot of the um, questions that you guys are asking, the answers are in them videos. Don't mind that collection of things there. <laughs> um, either way, it has been probably like half a year since I was sick. It was five months until I was cured. So five months before today, I was cured. It took me another three three months before that to start to feel better and get rid of my reflux. What did I do for it? I literally did nothing. Um, I'm telling you guys that I just ate healthy. I slowly incorporated the foods that I couldn't eat when I was sick. Um, sometimes I had Gaviscon very rarely because I just didn't necessarily like how it made me feel and all of that stuff. I didn't really need it. I weaned, weaned? Yeah, that's what you call it. I just basically um, stopped having Nexium, but I did it slowly. Um, yeah, I hated Nexium. I hated how it made my throat feel. I didn't like the taste of it. It was awful. But, you know, I had to have it for a really long time. Uh, my diet stayed the same for two months after I got cured. I didn't want to add something in that may, like, might aggravate my throat or anything. Um, I didn't necessarily have a lot of digestion issues. I know a lot of people... Uh, who have H. pylori had digestion issues, mine would kind of be more of constant nausea. Do I get nausea anymore? Time to time, but I'm not sure if it's just linked to, you know, womanly things, if you know what I'm saying. Um, but yeah, I don't get reflux. I don't get, like, constant air coming up. I still, on times, have burping, which is generally normal, but I never had it before I had H. pylori. Have I got my appetite back? Not really, <laughs> but it's definitely a lot better than it used to be. Um, can I gain weight? Mm, not really. I can't, but I'm not losing weight in a dramatic way that I was. And I can eat a lot more. Um, the things that set me off now is if I eat a lot of food, usually like if I eat like fa fast food or fried food in kind of a quick time, that's when it kind of feels like I have a bit of heartburn or something like that. Can I eat sugar and everything like that? Yes, but do I kind of want to back down from it because I'm kind of scared? Absolutely. Um, I prob It's not good either way to have it in your diet, but yeah. Did I get sick of the foods that I ate throughout the whole H. pylori process and have to fully change my diet? Absolutely. So I don't eat a lot of them foods now. I still eat chocolate-coated rice cakes and um, I still have peanut butter, but not as much. Um, all I'm going to say is after H. pylori, it's a very difficult process to get back to being 100%. A lot of people think as soon as they've had their treatment, they're going to feel better. But no, sometimes you have to go through two rounds of treatment or even three. This bacteria is very stubborn and difficult to get rid of because as I've said before in another video, it will go in the inside of the folds in your stomach and stay there and may not get eradicated by the treatment. Treatment does make you feel awful but it's a very strong antibiotic, so you need to expect to feel terrible. And I want you guys, I know it's very hard, I felt so awful on treatment. I want you guys to try and push through it, but you also need to be taking probiotics. It is so incredibly dumb how so many doctors do not tell people to take probiotics, probiotics, probiotics probiotics and prebiotics there's two different ones either way while you're on antibiotics because the antibiotics will strip all the bacteria even the good ones and if you're not taking pro or prebiotics your stomach health is like going to be out the window so for the first round of treatment i had i did not take pro or prebiotics because i did not get advised to but then towards the end of it, I started to take them and it made me feel a lot better. I want you guys to definitely take them. Otherwise, you're going to feel awful because you need that healthy bacteria in your stomach. Um, another question I've got is what I ate. Uh, stay away from high fat foods. Peanut butter is fine, like natural ones. I know coconut oil is good. Manuka honey is your best friend. Had it like every single day. Um, mastic chew gum is good because it fights off the bacteria whether it works 100 percent or not i don't know i did have it a few times but i didn't have it regularly so i can't be the one to say 
how that was good or bad, but I know a lot of people have said good things about it. Um, do I still have anxiety? Yeah, but it's only usually when I'm very much overwhelmed with a lot of things going on. I don't get it as much as I used to. The amount of anxiety attacks that I had last year was just incredible and insane. Um, and I hated it. Did I get depression from H. pylori? Absolutely. And we were also in lockdown. Um, I'm just trying to think of the other questions I've been asked. Other foods that you should eat as well. Make sure you're keeping meats in your diet. Try to maybe stay a bit off red meat because sometimes the iron and it can encourage hate pylori but don't base that off of me um i still had red meat from time to time because obviously you need iron <laughs> but um the only thing is about hate pylori is it's kind of hard for you to absorb vitamins properly into you so um if you're feeling very dizzy and light headed that might be why i did take a multivitamin throughout the whole process although some people say that you know there's no point because it just eats it but I don't know that's what I did and you know I got healed but I'm just saying that there's very different ways that people go on to treatment a lot of people do the natural way I did the natural way after having two rounds of treatment because treatment is kind of awful and the more you have antibiotics the less it's going to do for you so it's not recommended that you go on a bunch of treatments especially the amount of damage that it will cause to you um when I had my endoscopy I made a video about this, but I still get questions on what my results were. It just said that I had mild gastritis and mild inflammation. So that showed me that there wasn't too much damage that the H. pylori had caused. And obviously I can tell that now because I don't have many problems. I don't have stomach pains or anything like that. I get nausea from time to time and I don't have a great appetite, but that's about it. I never got a stomach ulcer or anything like that. Um, it took me nine months to overcome H. pylori and an extra three to four months to actually feel better. The treatment will not make you feel better straight away. I know there's a lot of people that ask me how long it took me after I got cured from H. pylori to feel better and not have reflux. Months. It takes a while. Um, did I get back into exercise? Yes. And can I gain weight now? Yes, it's just a lot harder, but it was already hard for me to gain weight. Um, another food that's really good to eat is broccoli. It's very good. Um, when I got to the point when I had H. pylori where it was the worst and I couldn't swallow food properly, I literally kind of mashed up all my foods and it took me hours to finish one meal, but that's how I did it. Um, I know it's super hard and sometimes you feel even worse after eating on H when you have H. pylori, but you really need to feel your body because otherwise you're just going to be feeling even worse um you know when you don't eat for a full day and then you kind of feel nauseous yeah that's kind of what happens when you don't eat and i know it's super hard but even if it takes you like hours to finish one meal it's better than nothing um and i couldn't swallow properly so what i had to do is i filled up a huge and like i still can't swallow 100 percent. i filled up huge bottles and just sipped on them throughout the whole day so then i wouldn't get super dehydrated Although it was very easy for me to dehydrate throughout this whole process. Um, uh, I'm just going to talk about like the warning signs I saw before I got diagnosed with it. Um, just in case that's a question that pops up into people's brains. So I had very bad nausea. Every single day I had nausea. I had a lot of reflux, a lot of air coming up. Um, I didn't feel good. I don't think I had many digestion problems, but sometimes I would have stomach pains and nausea. Um, kind of dizzy, like every single time I got up, it would be very light headed. And I think I was starting to lose weight. I also had a weird rash on my stomach. Not sure if that's related though. Um, either way, H. pylori is awful. Do I recommend the treatment or the natural? I think treatment is good, but I'm not saying that you can't eradicate it naturally. Of course you can. It's just I think that might take a little bit longer, although with treatment it does take an extra bit to get yourself back to being healthy and have a stomach balance. I'm just trying to make these videos so that people get a better grasp of this. Not many doctors know a lot about this. You have to go to like a specialist or something like that, which is what I went to when I had an endoscopy. Um, there's not really an age limit on this bacteria because you can get it when you're a kid it can lay doormat for a while and then just get flared up and then you know say hello i'm here jokes on you <laughs> either way i just hope that these videos help you guys but i really want to just put it out there that i do have a lot of videos on h pylori and 
if you have questions, it's more than likely that the answers are in them videos. Um, if you guys do want a full breakdown of everything I ate, then I can make that. But just know that I had oats. I stayed away from breads. If I had it, it was like gluten free, but kind of softer ones were better for my throat because the tightness in your throat is usually caused by the acid reflux coming up because it's like a wound on delicate skin. It's as if you had like a cut somewhere on like your elbow or something like that. It gets quite tight, you know, and that's kind of why your throat feels super tight because it's like constant acid going ahead onto that same wound. Um, so soft foods were your best friend. Uh, you can have fruit, just make sure it's cooked and stay on apples first and then slowly go to berries. But sometimes that might be too much acid for you. Make sure you always cook the fruit because that reduces the acid. It may decrease some of the vitamins in it, but it's still good to have that in your diet. Um, with vegetables, I mainly had like frozen vegetables or I had cooked vegetables. Um, but yeah, my diet is pretty normal now. I can eat every single thing without having a problem. The only thing that kind of gives me an issue is dairy because I'm lactose intolerant in general. Um, but yeah, it's a slow process to recovery and I hope you guys are doing okay. I hope everyone's doing all right. I know some people have it worse and if you have any other health issues with it, it's probably gonna not allow your body to heal properly. Um, but anyway, I hope this short video helped. If you guys have any other questions, ask it in the comments or message me on Instagram. It's at Lauren, A-Q-U-I-L-I-N-A. <laughs> Uh, underscore. I'll put that in the comments down below because I know that probably didn't help. Um, anyway, let me know if you guys are having issues or anything like that. Just know that this is a very difficult thing to get rid of. You're gonna feel very sick, but you will get better. There is hope. You will get better. Trust me. Um, yeah, let me know how you guys are doing and thank you for watching.